in Prague. Excellent. Well, welcome back, Alejandra. Let's begin with today's class. This is uh, Touchstone Level 2, Unit 4, Lesson D. Can you please the title of the lesson, Alejandra? No, yes. Mm. Now the tradition is uh, activities. No, only read it, please. Only, uh, only read this little part. Uh, lesson D, tradition. Traditions, yes. Do you have your book open? Yes. Can you please close it? Okay. Close your book. Thank you very much. Now I might put on my headphone with my microphone. What do you see in the pictures? Look the picture um, is described. Um, activities <clears throat> uh, for example dance dancing uh, um, uh, uh, what do you see uh, here? um traditional uh vestiment uh dancing or uh, carnival a carnival huh but one type of carnival with these costumes, this fun, does, is there anything uh, similar here in Mexico? Uh, yes, uh, the, the different uh, states, uh, carnival. Uh, yeah. Uh, in Estado Mexico, um, I don't have a carnival specific. Uh-huh. Um, but I mean, yeah. you're, you're in the uh, state of Mexico. I'm sure, well, uh, maybe you're familiar with the uh, chinelos? Uh, no, oh, no you're because... not? Oh, it's okay, don't worry. Let's continue with the next picture. What do you see in this picture? Mm. Uh, mm. Desfiles. A parade. That's uh, yeah. What you just said. It's a parade. Right. Oh. Parade. Can you read the the word here, please? Mm. Parade. 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 Yes. What about this one right here? What is this? Uh, uh, dancing. Um, yes, another type of parade, right? These are festivals, carnivals, and parades. But what about this? Um, oh, yes, I, <laughs> I don't know. That's a strange tradition, isn't it? Do you think they are comfortable wearing those necklaces? Well, we have different traditions all over the world. Every country has a different tradition. So let's talk, let's take a look at this. Can you read this, please? Um, inter interesting cultural tradition around the world. Very nice. Interesting tra cultural traditions around the world. Reading. Now, what do people in your country do for these events? So in your country, in your state, what do people do in weddings? Um, um... Uh, I, in the country, uh, preparing uh, food, uh, traditional, uh, for example, mole, uh, carnitas. So prepare traditional food? Yes. Okay. 
Very good. What else? Uh, the people uh, dancing uh, mandilon. Dance what? Uh, dance uh, mandilon. Mandilon? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is that a song? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, song. very good. Very good. Next, what else did he do? Um, hmm. uh, how do you say um, Ramo? Um, Phuket. Phuket. Uh, okay. Um, <clears throat> uh, how do you say Novia? Bright. Bright. Uh, the bright uh, trolls. Uh, the yes. Bu the bouquet. Uh, the bouquet. Yes, the uh, bright trolls, the bouquet. Perfect. Perfect. Just like that. Very nice. Now let's continue with the next part. What do people in your country do on birthdays? Um, I no. Are the people buy uh, pancake, cake? Buy a cake. Buy a cake. Okay. What else? What uh, more? Mm, uh, the people sing uh, mañanitas. Sing. Sing las mañanitas. Very good. What else? Um, mm. Are uh, the people give uh, presents? Give? Give. Give. Uh, give presents. Give presents. Very nice. What else? One more thing. Mm. Que mas, que mas. Mm. What else? What else? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, you're correct. Um. Mm -mm. um Boy, uh, buy candies, um, and uh, in how do you say payaso? Clown, um, buy candies. Uh, candy. you can say get a clown, is that it? What about Bray? Uh, what do people break on a birthday? Mm. You don't know? Break a? Mm. Break a piña? Piñatas? Break a piñata. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> what about New Year's Eve? What do people do in New Year's Eve? Oh, the people uh, drink. People drink. drink. <laughs> people drink what? Beer. Beer. Okay, beer. Beer. Um... Okay, what else? What other thing? What? And wine. And wine, yeah, and wine, that's right. Mm. Mm. Uh, the people visit um, on family, the other uh, country or... Um, visit family? Uh, the family meeting. In other? Cities? 
Yes. Is that what you mean by country? When you say country, you mean another city? Um, yes. Okay, country is uh, a nation. For example, United States is a country. Australia is a country. France is one country, but Acapulco is not a country. Mexico City is not a country, they are cities. Okay. So when you say visit family in other cities, because if you say other countries, it's correct too, but that means that you go to another country like Spain or Argentina or India, I don't know, another city, another country, okay? Um, what else what else do people do in New Year's Eve? The people eat the 12 grapes. Eat 12 grapes. Is your book closed? Mm -mm. Your book is closed? Yes. Okay. Next, continue, please. Eat 12 okay. grapes, what else? Mm, they, they, uh, how, uh, who, uh, is abrazo. Hug. Uh, true? Hug. People hug each other. Um, uh, my, oh, People there, uh, hug each other. Or? When, when the new year and at uh, 12 p.m. at 12 a.m. Oh, yeah, 12 a.m. a.m. A -A 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 okay that's really good now let's continue let's celebrate Con don't open your book okay your book needs to be closed Okay, we need to continue like this. Are you working on a computer or a cell phone? On a cell phone. Okay. Can you read this, please? Um, Aldo? Now, let's celebrate. Celebrate. Aldo, people Aldo. around. Aldo. Aldo. People around the world celebrate many of the same events. They sometimes celebrate these uh, special days quite uh, differently. Differently, uh, we found uh, some interesting and unique, unique, unique uh, tradition for celebrating New Year's Eve. If New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve. Birthday, birthdays, birthdays, and weddings, and weddings. What is a wedding? Um, boda, or boda. A wedding, but in English, boda. a wedding when people get married. Right? Married, get married. Get, 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 get married. Get, get married. Yes. Get married. All right. Now, New Year's, New Year's Eve activities and traditions. What are the New Year's Eve activities and traditions in this article? Can you find it? Mm, New Year's Eve. Yeah, New Year's Eve. Eve, not Eve. 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 Activities and traditions. Uh, New Year's Eve. Mm. If not if. Eve, if if uh, in Mexico people celebrate uh, the start of the New Year's be by 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 getting by getting getting uh, getting together with friends and family um, on New Year's um, Eve. They have a special dinner 
then when the clock strikes midnight. Okay, so the New Year's Eve activities and traditions are getting uh, together getting with together. friends and family. What else? Um, they have a special dinner, it's activity. Have a special dinner, yes, what else? Um, when the clock start, strikes when the midnight, um, everyone star, starts eating grapes. grapes. What about a tradition? Mm. This is a tradition. When the clock strikes midnight, everyone starts eating grapes. Oops. Yeah, is there another activity? Mm. No, only those, no. only those. So this is one, get it together, special dinner, three, and tradition, when the clock is strike, it strikes midnight, everyone starts eating grapes. Do you do this in New Year's Eve with your family? Mm. Yes. All right, now, I'm gonna have I'm gonna ask you a different question, but you don't need to read out loud, only read with your eyes and look for the information as quick as you can. Are you ready? Mm, yes, teacher. Go ahead, right there. Birthdays, activities, and traditions. Birthday, activities, and traditions. Yes, you have 30 seconds to find the answer. Can you find the answer? Okay. Okay. Now what we need to do is you need to read and find the answer. Find the information that is needed. The information we want is birthdays, activities, and traditions. Can you find the activities and traditions for birthdays? No. <clears throat> um. Responde and where uh, the picture? Yeah, it's right here, right? We have oh. birthdays. So you need to find the activities and traditions. Okay, the first one, the first activity we have. Uh, they put uh, several objects in front of sure. the baby. Yes, that's one activity. But so, there is one before that. What is the activity before that? So uh, friends and relatives get together for the baby's second birthday. Yeah, that's the first activity. Mm. Then they put several objects in front of the baby. 
uh, such uh, some money, uh, though, um, book. This is an example. It's not, it's not the activity. That's okay. an example of the object, for example. Money, doll, and book are objects. This is the objects. Money, doll, or and a book. And what is the tradition? Mm. The tradition is there is an interesting birthday tradition for infants. A baby is one year old on the day he or she is born. Now that is an interesting tradition, isn't it? Um, okay, are you reading or do you have any questions? Case pick, picking up. Picking up? Uh -huh. ah. When the baby sees something on the floor, do you have babies, Alejandra? Um, no, I don't have. Um, I okay. am single. You're single. Uh, when a baby uh, has different things anywhere, the baby wants to take them, right? If the baby sees a, a toy, the baby wants to pick it up. Yes, pick up, take and grab, pick up. Would you like to see another example? This is a good one. I'll show you this one. Yes. Right here. The baby is picking up a toy. Mm, yes, uh, it's como tomar lo que decida. No.
Ay, Alejandra. There is a problem with my internet connection. But Hi, we can So is this better when a baby picks up a toy? Yes. Yeah. Picking up the doll means the baby is going to have a lot of children one day. Okay. Next question. We need to find more information, okay? The next question is weddings, activities, and traditions. Can you find the wedding activities, please? Okay. Mm. Um, during a wedding ceremony, couple promise that they will always love. <laughs> it's the uh, activity. That's the activity. Uh -huh. uh, it's it's core is it's a curious date uh in Venice in Venezuela um, sing sing promise yes in Venezuela they sing them perfect what else what else what more Um, during the reception, celebrate, uh, and run, sneak away. Sneak away, yeah. Sneak away. Um. Um. It's a. Uh, good look. Uh, good luck. Good look. Uh, the the married um it's man. See um if no one sees the lip, uh, it means uh, they are going to have a lo a good look. Is tradition. That's a tradition, perfect. That's okay. correct. That's good, Alejandra, we're finished. Okay. Now, what does a sweet grape mean? Now, repeat please question, teacher. What does a sweet grape mean? Mm. It's a it's right here. What does a sweet grape mean? What you need to do is find right. sweet grape. Where is the sweet grape? Uh Uvas grape. No, Uvas. where? Where you need to find it on the article. Uh, okay. <coughs> Where is the grape in the article? In the New Year's Eve, in the birthdays, or in the weddings? Where uh, is the grape? Uh, New Year's. Eve. Perfect. New Year's Eve. Where? Where in the New Year's Eve? Remember, um, we're looking for a grape. You need to find grape. Where is grape? In the New Year's Eve uh, paragraph.
Can you find great in the paragraph? There are two sections. There is one right here and another one right here. Um, the... Now, you need to find sweet grain. Where is sweet grain? The men's amount is going to be a good one. A good yeah. one, perfect, that's what it means. Next question. In which country a baby is one year old the day he or she is born? Mm, the birth day? No, in which country? Um, in which birth. country? China. 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 Next question. What do keep what do couples do during a wedding ceremony? Um, that would be a wedding reception. Uh, yeah, ceremony. Venezuela in uh, what what do couples do? Para qué? Oh, the break and run snake away during the ceremony. The, not the reception, the ceremony. Mm. Mm. One hours. What? Okay, so what do couples do during a wedding ceremony? You need to find wedding ceremony. Where is the wedding ceremony? Is it in the New Year's Eve? Is it in birthdays? Or is it in weddings? Where is the wedding ceremony? Wedding. It's in weddings. Now you need to find wedding, wedding ceremony. Where is wedding ceremony? Can you find it? Mm. Mm. Uh, this, uh, this, uh, the ceremony. Um, yeah. um, you need to find wedding ceremony uh, in the paragraph. Where they, is wedding ceremony? Yeah. Uh, they sing, promise, no. promise. No. Promise that they will always love. Perfect. And yes. take care of During a wedding ceremony. Um, During a wedding ceremony, mm -hmm. um, couples promise that they will always love and take care of each other. Perfect. That's the answer. Okay. For the next activity, we have this now. You can open your book, read the article again. Are the sentences true or false? Check true, T, or F, false. Now, in Mexico, people eat grapes at a special dinner. True or false? True. True? Let's check out true. Number two, you read please, number two. If you eat a straight great on New Year's Eve, it means that the Jew 
and neat is going to be good. Can you read this again? The G what? And neat. Oh, neat. Neat. Is this an N? That an is not N. an N. A head. Alejandra, can you repeat, please? And head. Head. Continue, please. And head uh, is going to be good. Is that true or false? Um, it's, um, 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 Sí, déjalo ahí ahorita voy. Um. <coughs> um. False. It's false. Okay, let's go for number three, please. Um. The number three in China, the family gets uh, together on the day the baby is born. True. True, okay. Let's continue. Number four. Um, if the baby picks up a doll, it means he he or she she is going to have a lot of a lot of, a lot of brothers and sister phones. Mm. Mm. False? False. Number five. Mm, number five. Uh, in Venezuela, the bride and groom. Causing bride, bride, bride and groom. Bride and groom. And groom. And groom causing their promise to love each other. Yeah, promises. It's in promises. plural. Promises. Um, true. True. Mm -hmm. Number six. If they don't go to the reception, it means they will have good luck in your marriage. Mm -hmm. Marriage. Marriage. Mm. Mm. True. True. Perfect. Now let's check your answers. Okay. Number one. In Mexico, people eat grapes at a special dinner. Here are the grapes, and here is the article, the paragraph. So what we're going to do is find eating grapes at a special dinner. So when the clock strikes midnight. Everyone starts eating grapes at a special dinner. For example, in your birthday. Mm -hmm. In your birthday, do people eat a special uh, eat grapes? Yes, uh, in the birthday. In, in your birthday. Birthday or graduation. In your birthday. Mm -hmm. uh, you and your family 
eat grapes. At midnight. Mm. Yes, uh, they... Not, they... not they. You. Alejandra, you. In your birthday, do, do you and your family eat grapes at midnight on your birthday? No. No. I don't... No. No, you don't. I don't eat. What about... Uh, in uh, like you said in a graduation in your graduation no they don't they don't eat right <coughs> so you don't eat grapes on graduation day you don't eat grapes on your birthday did you eat grapes uh, on on a day of the death Do you eat grapes on the day of the death? No. No. Then when do you eat grapes? At midnight. Hmm. Yes, um, I do when uh, receive uh, the new year. The new year, that's right, the new year. So the question number one says, in Mexico, people eat grapes at a special dinner. Is that true? Mm, false, uh, because I new years, no? It's false. So we're going to change that. We're going to put it in false. Okay, with different color. So that's the correct answer. False. Perfect. Are you ready for the next one? Number two. If you eat a sweet grape on New Year's Eve, it means that the year ahead is going to be good. True. Is that false? True? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's True. find it. Sweet grape. New year. Uh, okay. Sweet grape. Means, continue reading, please. Mm, a sweet grape means the mount is going to be a good one. And number two says, if you eat a sweet grape on New Year's Eve, it means that the year ahead is going to be good. Is that true or false? True. True. Read it again. Read again, please. Next three words to mean the most. False. 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 Why? Why false? Because um, I need um, why is false? Yeah, because because um, the the read sentence, uh, it uh, means that the you were on it uh, in the text. Um, the year what? The year what? The year? Um, yes. The year what? Can you read this again? Mm, in the text. Uh, uh -huh. The text, yeah, continue.
Alejandra, are you there? Teacher. Yes. Um, sí, escucho lo último que lo dije, ya no. No, I didn't hear you. Uh, uh, <laughs> the sentence is false uh, because uh, the sentence uh, uh, said uh, year in the text uh, is month. Perfect. That's correct. So that is false. Perfect. Good job. Next, let's go for number three. In China, the family gets together on the day the baby is born. Is that, is that true? Let's check the text. Go ahead, find the answer. Mm. Mm. A baby is one year all on the day. He or she's born. Mm -hmm. mm, on, you, on your letter, friends and relatives um, head together for get. the baby. Get together for the baby's second birthday. Mm. Mm, it's true. It's true. Let's check it again. It says, in China, mm. the family gets together mm. Mm. on the False. day the baby is born. False because the sentence family in the text says friends. Nope, that's not that's not the answer. The text says. Friends and relatives. So relatives are the family. Relatives are your uncles, your aunts, your grandpas, mm -hmm. your cousins, your family. But why is it false? No, uh, and relative is include uh, the family yeah but is it true or false mm, true it's true one more time read it in china the family gets together on the day the baby is born they get together the baby with the day the baby is born um no <laughs> it was uh Mm, the day the baby is born. Mm, mm, the family. Uh, or the family is um, second birthday. So in China, the family gets together for the baby's second birthday, correct? Mm. So is false. False. Okay. Perfect. Let's continue with the next one. Number four. If the baby picks up a doll, it means he or she is going to have a lot of brothers and sisters. Is that false? Mm. Yes, uh, because the text um, site is going to a lot children. Mm, the children, now the baby don't don't have a dozen brothers and sisters. The baby does not have brothers or sisters, okay. right? Only children, so it's false. Perfect. That's good, Alejandro. That's good. That's great. The last one. In Venezuela, the bride and groom can sing their promises to love each other. 
Is that true? Let's check. In Venezuela, the bride and groom sing them. Perfect. So that's correct. What about number six? If they don't go to the reception, it means they will have good luck in their marriage. Is that true or false? Mm. Mm, true. It's true. Let's check it out. If mm. they don't go to the reception, they don't go to the reception. Mm -mm, it says. In Venezuela, the bride and groom don't always say their promises. Sometimes they sing them. Later, during the reception, the bride and groom sneak away. Does that mean that they don't go? Mm. Mm. No. No. It means they went to the reception. Mm -hmm. It's false. It's false. <laughs> it's false. Now we need to check what are the correct answers. Right there. All the false ones we need to check correct. In Mexico, people eat grapes at a special dinner. Is that correct? No. No, what is the correct answer? False. It's false, but what is the correct answer? People eat grapes at New Year. Years. What? New Year's Eve. Yeah. What about number two? If you eat a sweet grape in New Year's Eve, it means the year ahead is going to be good. That is false. What is the correct answer? Mm. Mm. Is is a um, month? A month, right? A month. Not the year. So we need to write month. Month. Perfect. That is correct. Month. Number three in China, the family gets together on the second bird. Second. On the babies. Second birthday, right? Birthday. The baby's second birthday. I'm going to put it in the lower letters. <laughs> there, right there. What about number four? If the baby picks up a doll, it means he or she is going to have a lot of brothers and sisters. That is false. What is the correct answer? Only children. A lot of children, right? A lot of children. Perfect. Uh, number five. That's correct. That's true. And number six, if they don't go to the reception, it means they will have good luck in their marriage. What is the correct answer? When? When? What do you mean when? When will they have good luck in the marriage? Uh, see. No. See reception. See? See. Si. 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 Si
seen receptor. No, if they sneak away from the reception. Right there. And that is a correct sentence. If they sneak away from the reception, it means they will have good luck in their marriage. Correct? Correct. Excellent. Go ahead and write the answers on your book, please. Yes. Mm. Yeah, all of these answers too. Yeah, number one. New, it's uh, New Year's Eve, number two, month, number three, baby second birthday, number four, children, and number five, a sneak away from. Are you finished? Yes. Oh, perfect. Now, I want to ask you some questions. What traditions do you have for wedding receptions? Hmm. Mm. Uh, the question is for you. It's for you. Um, mm. Mm -mm. Uh, the the ground um can can not uh, see the bride uh, dresses. No, that's right. The groom cannot see the bride's dress before the wedding. Yeah, uh, it it it's good look. It's good luck. Perfect. <laughs> now. Which birthdays are extra special? Mm. Are all the birthdays extra special? Mm, no. No. Mm. Which birthdays are extra, extra special? Mm -hmm. I think. <laughs> Especially for for women. For women is the most famous celebration. What birthday is very special for a girl? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think no, I don't know. No. Okay. What is special birthday for you? What was your most special birthday when you were a little girl? Mm. A birthday you planned, a birthday you celebrated, a birthday you recorded with video. You have pictures, big cake, a special dance. I remember uh, of a special birthday when uh, when my family and you when uh, the and I my family and I my family and I um, when the, the picnic. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, it's my my fears. Uh, how you say borrachera? Oh my gosh, drunk night. Uh, but no, I mean a special birthday. Which one are special for everybody, not only for you? Um, for all of your classmates when you were in high school, 
there was there is one special birthday for all the girls when you were in high school. What mm -hmm. special birthday was that? Um. Mm, when, when you turned when you turned 10 years old only 10 10 years old was that extra special mm, no uh what about 11 was that extra special mm, yes yeah 11 was extra special why yes uh because um Mm. Oh, my family and you. And I. And I. And I uh, visit uh, other city. city. Okay. Uh, That's extra special for you. But is that is extra special for everybody else as well? For example, when your uh, sister turned 11, was that? the same extra special for her when your classmates turned 11 years old was that extra special for them or is there one tradition for everybody that when you turn that age on that birthday they celebrated very special um Um, uh oh, get uh, push it to the cake. No, that's that's a that's not a birthday, that's a tradition. But which birthdays are extra special? Which birthday 11 is extra special for everybody 11 years old? Um. No, uh, no. What 15. about 12? 15. 15. Now that is a special for all the girls, correct? Or no? Mm, 15, uh, I don't have a body. No, but it was a special for you, wasn't it? No, I don't have a party. Uh, my no, family. But it was a special birthday, wasn't it? You didn't yeah. have a party. I understand. But it was extra special, wasn't it? Or it was normal, like all of them? Yes. Uh, my 15, when they special. Um, it was extra special. But, now, but how... We, how do people celebrate that birthday? Mm. Mm. The people rally is a uh, ceremony. A ceremony, yeah. What else? Um, uh, the quinceañera tiene traducción? Not really. Your 15th birthday. Uh, in English, there is another tradition called Sweet 16, which is when the girl turns 16 years old, not 15. Mm. It's called Sweet 16. But uh, yes, uh, the, like the you woman, said, it, the, gir the, the woman, girls, yeah. Or, um, the dance balls. Yeah, the dance walls. That's correct. Perfect. And the last one, what traditions do you have for New Year's Day? That's for you. What traditions do you have for New Year's Day? Mm. Um, I eat, um, no, they eat uh, 12. You, you. What traditions do you have for New Year's Day? Um, we, we eat, uh, 
uh, typical food. You eat typical food, okay. For example, pozole. Yes, um, traditional pilaf. food. <laughs> what brings good luck for the new year? What brings... Um... Um, how does it say Um, make a, a witch uh, when eat a uh, grape. Make a wish, yeah. Make a wish when you eat a grape. That's correct. Thank you very much. <laughs> I think we're finished for today. We couldn't uh, hey, we couldn't reach this activity, but the activity is for you to write a special invitation to a, a, a friend. Invite Katy and Andrea to a very special day for you. It may be your graduation day. It could be your, uh, your wedding, <laughs> maybe. Maybe you have a new job, whatever the special event, the celebration, you are going to have a party. You're going to make the party and you're going to invite your classmates, Kathy and Andrea. Write the invitation like in these places, like this, writing a personal notes and emails. Start like this, more formal, less formal, and like this. And here are the examples. These are invitations that you can copy. These no. are more formal, more formal, and this is less formal, okay? And when you finish it, show it to your teacher so he can check it. Mm. Okay, right. you, you need to write on your notebook. Okay? Okay. Okay, now we're finished for today. How was the class, Alejandra? Um, very, very good. I, I hope you enjoyed it. it. I hope you learned something. Interest, uh, interest, um, Because um, I know uh, others, others uh, tradition country uh, is uh, yeah. really uh, yeah, China, it's really. China, Venezuela. <laughs> I know it's it's a little different. Yes. <laughs> okay. Do you have any questions, Alejandra? No, teacher. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. It was nice knowing you. Uh, I hope to see you again sometime. And for the moment, have a great day. Okay. You have a beautiful day. Thank you very much. You too. Bye, Alejandra. Bye.